There's probably a bit of an inventor in all of us. We'd all like to think we could cash in on something so clever it could change the world. But what really happens after you've come up with that brilliant idea? Linda Kincaid checks in with the winners of the new Inventors Show to find out. If Australia is the clever country, then these three brains are up there with the best. Winners of the ABC New Inventors program. I invented the lullaby, an automatic cock rocker. And if you're worried about bushfires, my sprinkler invention is the answer. My invention is a glow-in-the-dark boat. So does a brilliant idea recognised on national TV make it where it matters, in the real world with all the financial rewards. A plumber by trade, Gordon McCowan, came up with this idea while working as a volunteer bushfire fighter in Sydney's Sutherland Shire. A staggering 90% of all houses destroyed in bushfires are caused by amber attacks rather than radiant heat or flames. There's nothing else out there like it. The reason I invented people just stand on the roofs with their hoses and that's very dangerous uh, because you get wet roofs and you can slip off. Uh, with my invention, you can just sit it there and hook it up. It won Best Invention Prize in 2004 on the show, but only now is it getting to market. What a lot of the main hurdles was trying to find someone to manufacture it. Um, it's so, unfortunately, so expensive to produce in Australia. Um, we just had to go overseas. We didn't want to, but we had to. The roof sprinkler is expected to be in Bunnings by November. The average home will probably need two to three sprinklers. And they'll be for sale for $49.95. It's a cheap insurance policy.